This is a manifold and turbocharger assembly off an OM617 five-cylinder diesel engine. This was available in the American U.S. market from 1978 to 1985. You can see it appears to be an integral unit, but it's not. The, the intake manifold can be separated from the exhaust manifold and turbocharger assembly, although you cannot remove the intake manifold by itself. If you're going to remove this from your engine, you have to remove it as one unit because of the long studs coming out from the cylinder head that hold this tight to the, the block of the engine. Now, sometimes you'll have to remove this entire assembly. If you're changing the, the manifold gasket, which is a very common leak problem on these, you will have to remove this as a unit. If you're going to remove the cylinder head, to change the head gasket, do a valve job, or for any other reason, you know, this is going to come off as one assembly. You can see that the intake manifold has the infamous air cleaner bracket to it, also the EGR valve here, and then you have the exhaust manifold that attaches the uh, turbocharger to it, and that can come off when you're doing major work on your turbocharger. But if you're just going to overhaul the turbocharger center section right here, that's the part that wears out. That's the part that needs a new seal, sealing rings, a new bushings, maybe a new turbine wheel and shaft and a new compressor wheel. You do not need to remove this entire assembly from the engine. It can be done by just removing this part here, but it's a real challenge. And when I started doing this, I set out to build a few special tools that are going to be required if you're going to do this. It can save a lot of time if you're only going to overhaul the turbocharger center section. So let me show you that toolkit and I'll kind of show you why you need some of these special tools. The biggest challenge you will face when attempting to remove this center section is the bolts that hold it to the turbine hot section. I mean, sometimes these bolts are literally rusted in place and you have to be really careful because if you break these bolts off, then you have a big wrench dance trying to tap them out. Sometimes if you break them off, it's so difficult to get the broken uh, part of the bolt out that you just want to go out and get another uh, turbine section from another used uh, turbocharger. So I highly recommend uh, I, I talk about this in my instructions. I think I mentioned in another video. You want to soak these bolts overnight with some type of rust penetrant. Have a propane torch handy. You may have to apply heat. But this isn't too bad on a bench. But when this is down in the engine, it's really hard to get to some of these bolts. And that's why I came up with a few special tools. The curved box end will allow you to get down on these bottom ones here, see? You get way down underneath, and then the, the, the wrench has to be angled so you have the clearance to loosen and tighten it back up. And look what happens here, though, when you try to get a box end here. There's not enough room. So enter my cutoff short sections. Um, and if you have the room, you can take the other end of this wrench and put it on for leverage. Sometimes using these short pieces, like you'll have to go way underneath with one of these short pieces to get one of these bolts on the inside. You may have to get a pair of pliers on it or something else to break it free. So what I've done is I've come up with a number of different little, you know, short pieces and, and bent pieces. This particular wrench here is not for getting the turbocharger off. It's for properly torquing the nut when you apply the compressor wheel to the turbine shaft and then there's a couple other wrenches that are included that you can modify if you if you need to so without these wrenches oh by the way these these tools over here are just for taking um, you know the center section apart and overhauling it. you don't need those to remove it uh, from the engine so if you're going to take on this job I mean, you have a couple options. You can just remove the whole assembly or you can try just removing the center section. 
I'm not going to try to convince you that this job is a piece of cake. Even with these special tools I've created here, it can be a challenge sometimes. Once again, particularly if those bolts are rusted in place. So be prepared. I mean, you can do this yourself, but you need to be uh, an intermediate DIY mechanic. You can save a lot of money if you overhaul your own 617 turbocharger. So what I've done is I have a complete kit, which includes the instructions, uh, you can buy all the rebuild parts you need for the turbocharger. The toolkit comes as an add-on because I know not everybody wants to get this unique toolkit. It does not come with instructions though if you just buy the toolkit. You're kind of on your own. It's meant to be part of the entire kit where the instructions for using these tools are actually included in the instructions for overhauling the turbocharger center section. Now keep in mind these are not snap-on grade tools. They're not meant to be and they're not priced that way either. So you have to be a little bit careful. You know, you, if, you, if these bolts won't loosen up, you know, don't force them. Don't force them with this tool kit. It's not meant to be, uh, uh, you know, an end-all. So approach the job with caution, use common sense, have penetrant and heat handy, and it, you should be successful.